Hello YouTube, Eltopian here. Let me adjust my screen. Smoking some old limey bastard. Out of uh boy I can't remember the maker's name on that pipe. It's a nice one, I've had it for a long time. Got it for 21 bucks. Brand new. Anyway, I'm smoking it in my pipe. And it's pretty good. Old limey bastard. Hmm. Well, just thought I'd drop in and say hi. Made the uh, video last night about the contest winnings I got from Max Defiant Pipes. And there was one in there that threw me. It said FMC on it. And I, said, I emailed him back and said, FMC? What's FMC? And he said, Frog Morton Cellar. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. Just wanted to test him, see if he knew it. Yeah. I knew that. I knew that. Anyway. Don't have a lot to tell you right yet. In a little bit, I'll make another video. Going to tell you a, a winter story. <laughs> Be ready for that one. Because you'll laugh. But right now, I'm just fiddling around. Show you frickin' frack here. My wife got him out. You knew it was gonna happen on YouTube. Full frontal nudity. Yeah. told you guys a story a long time ago but I don't know if you remember or not several years ago I made a video with a story that uh, the first year my wife and I were going together I didn't have very much money I was working one job and it was iffy right at that time because of the snow coming down. It was an outdoor job. So I wasn't getting very many hours a week. Just barely getting by. But we'd went out for a few months. and uh, I liked this girl pretty much. And uh, she ha happened to have two jobs. So she was doing okay. And the third person that introduced us, set us, set up a blind date for us. Uh, she came to me a few days before Christmas. You better get her something nice for Christmas. So I've seen what she got you. Oh man, talk about pressure, because I was just about broke. Day before Christmas. I was wandering through Albertsons, yes, Albertsons, in Walla Walla, Washington. This was one of the only things open. I had five dollars and some change in my pocket, wondering, what can I get this gal to impress her for Christmas? Well.
fellows, I had listened to what she liked. I listened. I was going down the aisles. And I saw two little trolls like this. They were a little different, uh, different trolls, but they were, you know, the same type of trolls. And their Christmas stuff, all in this one aisle, greeting cards and all that, little stocking stuffers, had already been discounted because they didn't want to keep them in inventory. And uh, the trolls were 50 cents a piece. There was two of them there. There was a little angel and there was a little Santa Claus. And I thought, well, okay. Something might be working here. And I picked those up. And I walked down the aisle a little bit. And I saw a Christmas tin, a round tin, about this big. You know, the kind that you put candies in or cookies and you give them to the neighbors, something like that. The tin was only a dollar, and it had a nice Christmas scene on it. Winds of a brainstorm were beginning to blow. And I thought, okay, okay, there's a possibility here. Pick the tin up. Went down into the next aisle. It was a candy aisle. And they had a big display, bulk display of Hershey's Kisses. You know those little chocolate things? Each one's wrapped up. And she had told me before, and I listened, that that was her favorite candy, Hershey's Kisses. So I thought, well, I'll go for broke. Anyway, I scooped up all the kisses I could afford. Took the five dollars and the change I had, went up, paid for the stuff. Still had a few cents and change in my pocket. How about that? Went home, put the kisses in the tin, and nestled those two little trolls in there. And uh, I happen to have up in the closet some old wrapping paper old Christmas paper. I don't know why I had it, but I had it. And it had fallen, followed me on several moves, so uh, I wrapped... A, it's hard to wrap a round tin with a square piece of paper, you know. But I did it. I put a bow on it, and I put a little note on it and said, hugs and kisses are all these old trolls and I could afford this year. Well, the next morning, I went over to where she was living and she gave me her, the presents that she'd gotten for me and she'd gotten me quite a bit of stuff. She'd gotten me some nice socks, which I needed because I was working outside. And several weeks before, uh, Christmas we were in a bookstore and I saw a coffee table book it was a hardback book and it was nice it was called my brother's face and it was all photographs of the Civil War and I've always been very interested in history and I looked through that book and I said boy I love this this is just great and she said oh yeah it looks nice we went on Not long after that, we were in an antique shop. Excuse me. 
and uh, I saw this little die cast train it was uh, not Tootsie Toy it was Midge Toy a little five car train I've got it put away right now but or otherwise I'd show it to you but strange thing about it is I had one exactly like it when I was a kid and stranger yet the caboose had been left out in the yard at one time and got hit with a lawnmower and was bent just a little bit and this caboose that I saw on this train there was bent just like the one I'd had before and I don't know whatever happened to the train after it went up after I grew up so was it the same one I don't know but it was just like it and I told her the story I said, wow I had one just like this when I was a kid you know and I played with it all the time and thought it was great she said oh that's nice I thought, well she's not very sentimental next thing I know she gave it to me for Christmas and she gave me some other things too after all those presents I thought oh man my little present isn't going to be much but that was all I can do so I gave it to her anyway and she opened it up and read the note hugs and kisses were all these trolls and I could afford this year well she loved it later on I guess she decided she loved me because we've been married over 20 years see fellas it pays to listen listen to them anyway we made that a tradition or I made it a tradition every year since maybe ex with the exception of one or two I've always gotten her a troll and Hershey's Kisses now she has a whole collection of trolls sometimes I'll get her a one for Easter or one for Valentine's Day just for the fun of it so we started a tradition fun thing to do well I hope that story wasn't too boring for you This old limey bastard that I'm smoking tastes pretty good. I like it. Anyway, just thought I'd stop in and bend your ear for a little bit. Oh, be looking for my uh, next story. I'll try to get it up tonight. Because you laugh. And like I said, here on YouTube, full frontal nudity. Well, you know, it had to happen sometime. Anyway, this is the Eltopian. And I'll see you down the road.